Hello, good evening. Uh, by the way, um, Sir Ernest told me that I am the one who was uh, lead this uh, Bible study for tonight only. Sir Chris? Yes. Sir Chris, uh, do you have a uh, ball pen in your uh, Yes. Website? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let us start about, uh, for the prayer request. Ate Bane, do you have a prayer request? Uh, yes, Kuya. Um, thank you for all the blessings and protection and guidance. For everyone. Okay. Uh, Ate Ronaline? Um, yes, still uh, thanksgiving for all the blessings that we received every day and especially the good health and strength. Um, enlightenment for my brothers, uh, Raiden and Ramses. Okay, all right. No. My prayer yeah. for my two artisan, um, fast recovery, and one of my our batchmates, and also good health for everyone. Thank you. Good Prayer request, praise God for all the blessings that I receive, including my family, good health, and everyone here, and continue uh, continuously guidance and good health for everyone. Uh, Hello, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, Kerolek. Uh, uh, my prayer request is always uh, guidance and safety for everyone and for our families. And still, um, continuous healing for my stepmother. What did you say? My, okay, my prayer request is, of course, always uh, peace of mind for everybody. Whatever... Uh, problems we encounter in our <coughs> daily life uh, trust with the lord trust in god and um, enlightenment for my husband and my two niece danica and diane and uh, protection for my friend because she is sick risa miss lee bye my... Uh, my prayer request is good health to my family, protection, and also um, enlightenment for Irima. And uh, Kuya Mike? Prayer request? Yeah. Uh, peace for all mankind, including us. Most especially, we are still beginning in our training. We are just a beginner in our training. Uh, That's all. At the do you hear me at a bit? Yes. And uh, I think uh, we will come back for you because you have a uh, poor connection. Uh, by the way, uh, Miss Hilma. Um, sir, prayer for my sister-in-law. 
and uh, thank you for all the graces and blessings. Okay. Uh, sir, please, uh, can you pray for us? Please. Okay, guys. Um, so please join me. Heavenly Father, we be glad and we are thankful. We bow before all you, O Lord. We are glad that you are with us uh, today, O Lord. We, we pray that uh, you have uh, given us strength and uh, make you continue to, to bless us, O Lord, and to help us understand your word and uh, every purpose that we have here on earth. Lord, we pray for uh, Vanessa. Um, we Thank you for uh, the good help and um, everything that uh, she is receiving from you, O Lord. Um, we also pray for Ron Ling for the good help and um, enlightenment for Raiden and Ram. We ask for the fast recovery of uh, uh, Margie's um, family and uh, for Julie and the good health and blessings that you have given her. Lord, we thank you for the safety of Roxanne and uh, for her daughter. And also we ask for the healing for her stepfather. Um, we thank you for the peace of mind for Giselle and uh, enlightenment for her husband, uh, Danica and uh, Diane, and healing for her friend, Riza. Lord, we ask for the protection for uh, um, his Beth and uh, Elaine and for the for their family. Oh, Lord, we also thankful for the peace of mind and uh, blessings and guidance that you're given to Michael and to his family. And we are praying for the uh, sister-in-law of Wilma. Lord, we, we pray that uh, you were going to lead us every day, oh Lord, to whatever we were doing. And um, may you protect us and um, keep us safe every time, oh Lord. As uh, we continue to to grow, uh, especially in our church, our Lord, uh, may you continue to bless and give good health to Ernest and Cora, uh, so they may be able to continue to to guide us, our Lord, and um, help more of the people and to save more lost souls. Lord, we we know that you are with us, and uh, we can fulfill this uh, um, task, our Lord, with your help and with everyone in the member of the church. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. By uh, by the way, guys. Uh, uh, we have. Uh, I know that all of you have a lifetime verses, and uh, uh Sir told me that uh, uh, he think that uh, all of you have uh, mem uh, memory verses, and uh, let us talk about uh your. Memory verses that uh, what is the uh, effect it is a effect in your life and what is the changes in your life about uh, your memory verses and uh, explain it okay and uh, let uh, let us start from Ate Vanessa. Yeah. Yeah, our favorite verses, sir. The uh ako ya the our favorite one. Memory verses. For me, um I always told them that my favorite verse is Luke one, Luke chapter one, verse thirty-seven. That is God for God. Nothing shall be impossible. That's my favorite one. Okay, and, uh, and explain it. Yes, um, every one of us um experience experience those kinds of struggles, um, difficulties, um, sickness, anxiety, all of the hardness in life that we cannot uh that we're not expecting to happen, but that's life. And sometimes it's really hard to overcome those those kind of trials and no matter where you are today um even if the task at hand seems impossible or or like it's just won't work out 
trust Jesus, trust Him, trust God, and and He has a way of working things out, um, exceeding abundantly, above all we could ask or think if we'll only trust Him. Okay, and and related to that, uh, I think uh, in John fourteen six, uh, uh, the Bible says that. Uh, uh, no one can enter the kingdom of God and let it. Uh, when, uh, I think, uh, no one comes to the Father except through me. Right. Yeah. And then uh, next is uh, Atari Ronaline. Atari Ronaline, what is your favorite verses? And explain it to us so that uh, we, uh, we have, uh, you can share your encouragement for us. Um, before I don't have a favorite verse, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, because you know, naman di ba, uh, about my past, um, it's, um, I have a lot of struggles, um, especially, uh, the, uh, bad scenario happened to me. Um, I think uh, five years. Um, it's hard for me because um, before I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Roman Catholic. And that's why it's hard for me um, what happened before. It's, uh, you know, the, uh, it's just one click. My life, my whole life was changed a lot and it's hard for me because I um I lost my husband and I am now a person with a disability through that accident and you know uh, uh the when the pandemic came that's the time that um um, a lot of, especially my father, uh, when my father lost his job because of that pandemic, it's hard for us because we don't know where we find our needs every day. Um, I'm not a, uh, I don't have work pa before because of that accident. It's very hard for me. Um, I cannot go back of what I am. But um, it takes a lot. Um, when I when I am at the hospital before, I always pray to God because because I know pa before that um, my husband is still alive and he is only a confined to other hospital because that is uh, they told me every day but when I when I know that um, my husband pala died na on that day that we were accident um, it's hard for me to accept God again because of that of what happened because um on my past I'm a breadwinner to our family. I'm my every uh, my daily routine every day is work house work house that's it mm -hmm. and it's hard for me when that accident happened because it took almost a one year before I walk on my own. And it's hard for me because I can't give the needs of my family. I cannot provide them what they need because of that accident. And still um, from now, um, you know, naman, it's 
a little bit harder but um god um gave me the reason to stand up again because of that pandemic um when pandemic came you know i don't know what to do i want to help my family to provide what they want to provide what they need you know that is the time uh, when one of our neighbors came to my to our house and then said uh, you want to join a bible study because uh the preacher gave us uh, food after bible study uh our preacher gave us a uh, rice uh, three kilo, three kilo of rice and then i said yes already because we need that rice before and that is the time that every bible study i learned the word of god in the bible and that is the time that oh it's true something like that when i when i heard uh, the word of god in the bible and that is the time when i pray to god that um god uh help us help me what to do and then you know when pandemic came um i plan to make a bread and i'm so happy because i i can bake that is the another um blessing that god gave me even if um i had um um when my body now diba you know naman yeah. what my body now um it's hard for me before to cook again to hold because of the stitches and when i do that bread i'm so happy because uh god gave me pala another talent yeah after the accident mm -hmm. and then that is the time uh, every day i always thank him because um uh, they give me uh, another chance to stand up again and that is uh, our source of income um two years uh okay. the bread making and i'm happy and when i saw the on social media about the silang church of christ i called mom cora and then um, it's different here because Sir Ernest um, will teach us a lot of a Bible verse and every day when our Bible study, um, they teach us about the Bibles. And, you know, um, I have uh, read um, the verse. Um, mm -hmm. It's Matthew's chapter 6 verse 24 mm -hmm. um it says uh, no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despite despise the other you cannot serve god and money okay uh, um, you know you know ati rona is uh i think uh we must uh, trust uh, the Lord God because nothing is possible to Him. Yeah. All, all, all we can do is uh, put our faith and uh, pray to God because He sees know everything. Yeah, he, because he ha, he uh, before, kasi, uh, I don't think that eh, on my own mm. because of what happened. I can't walk, I can't sit yeah. by my own, I can't pee by my own. It, that's why it's hard for me. Uh, I always cried and um, I always um, ask God, why me? Why? Why uh, you me? Know, Ati Rona, uh, 
God has a plan for every each of us. Yeah, that's why uh, uh, when yeah. I read this verse, I I realized ah, uh, God gave me punishment because uh, before I always work housework house. Even if I'm a Roman Catholic, um, mm -hmm. I'm not. Uh, Um, I think uh, once a month, I went to church only. That's why okay. siguro uh, God gave me punishment. But now I accept it now. And, wow. and now let me, let me, uh, let me the verse again that I want is um, uh, Exodus uh, 14, 14. The Lord will fight for you. You have to be silent. Okay. And uh, let us give a chance to others. Uh, Ate Roxanne, what is your favorite? Uh, I think it's not favorite. It is your uh, life verses that uh, touch uh, Jesus Christ, touch your heart, and uh, Lord change your lifestyle. What is your verse? And, uh, yes, Kuya Rodic. Uh, let... Uh... Before I uh, uh, said my life verses, I, I want to give uh, Sir Chris Yata is something to say about. Yeah. There is something. Yeah, for, for Mom Ronaldine. So uh, because she mentioned that God punished her. So I, I would say the Lord never ever Punish punished everyone. us. Um, it's just he gives us a lesson or probably he gives us something for us to understand. So, but uh, I, God is love. Okay, so um, it's not a punishment. It's basically a lesson. Yeah, she, uh, he's giving us something to learn, uh, but, never a pun but never a punishment. That's all. <laughs> And yeah. uh, Yes. Uh, like what you said, uh, Kuya Rolik, uh, before I, I have no uh, favorite verses. Uh, maybe uh, now I, I consider it uh, this verse is goes into my life. That's why this is my favorite. Uh, not, it's a favorite. Uh, I consider it verse that it's happened to me. Yes. Uh, uh, it's Acts verse, uh, chapter 20, verse 24. It says that, But I do not account my life of any value nor as precious to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Uh, you know naman before, Kuya Rolik, uh, I was a Catholic and I serve in our church. Um, and it happens that uh, when, when I was there, uh, it's, uh, it's happy to serve and... And it's I consider that I I believe that I I become a Lord uh, a servant that day, and then even now uh, even I it's hard for me to decide, and then I already decided yet, and however I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race. And complete the task the Lord has given me, the task testifying to the good news of God's grace. That's all. And then uh, next is uh, Miss Julie. Can you share with us your verse? Yes. Um, I have lots of favorite verses, but this is the verses that um it keeps me motivated that I know you guys know this one, um, Romans 8, 28. Um, we know for those who love God, all things work together who are called according to his purpose. 
yeah uh, wherever i go i used to um keep on my mind that um every in our life there's a lot of challenges problems so we only trust god that all things work together and all things has a purpose that's all and next kuya marvin <laughs> Okay, my fa- can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So my favorite verse, uh, let's say uh verses. So it is uh first Corinthians chapter uh, 13, verse 4. I'll I'll read some of it. Okay. So it is love is patient and kind, love does not envy or boast, it is not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way, it, it, it is not irritable or resentful, it does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love uh, love bears all things, believes all things, hope all things, endures all things. So the reason that the uh, the reason why I like or I love this uh, verse is that it doesn't only define what love is, but instead it give uh it give uh it is about what love does. So it, it's not just uh, giving the definition, but then uh, Paul wrote this to uh, give us ideas on how to practice love that that's it okay uh next is uh, miss uh miss Giselle. no crying uh. <laughs> um actually uh uh, when I came here at uh, at this church, I did that. Uh, uh, what do you call this? I expect something about the Bible because I do not read the Bible, even though I am a, uh, a I have a Bible in our house. I did that open it because what is the purpose? Uh, that's why when. Uh, when uh, my problem comes uh, in our marriage, uh, that's the time I open uh, the Bible and I join this uh, this training in a, in a, through social media, and um, mm-hmm. And it's very hard for me in, uh, for the first time that when uh, Mam Cora uh, recite all of us about uh, what uh, what are you uh, what do you call this? What do you want in your life in your past life? Mm-hmm. So I remember all everything, and we. We all trainings cried because um, it's very hard. Uh, it's very hard for me to remember everything because, you know, I I love my husband very much. In 20, 23 years that we, you know, together, together uh, because of my mga in-laws, yeah. we separated. That's why I... I don't want to forgive them because it's always hurt my, I always cried and uh, I almost commit suicide two times. That's why. <laughs> no cry, but you are crying. Uh, you know what, uh, uh before I think uh, before you, uh, before you start prayer, uh, I think you must uh, go to someone who did uh, wrong to you who did not, uh, before you start prayer because uh, the Lord knows what is in your heart, what is in your mind. Before uh, ask him, before uh, ask him, I'll give you a blessing. Uh, I think you must uh, go to the, someone who has uh, break your heart 
<laughs> okay? And, uh, you know, God is uh, God of... I know, I know God had plans for me. Yeah. That's why I accept all, all, all uh, the problems I encountered now. That's why uh, I'm now, I'm happy, even though I'm alone. Yeah, and great. my husband uh, is always happy. I, I always pray for him that uh, she realized what he do to me. And uh, I always pray to God na um, sa lahat ng uh, in-laws ko na, ay, na gumawa sa akin ng hindi ano, even though I try, try my best. Just pray for them. Yes. Because God knows uh, what is in your heart. God uh, will work for that. Okay. Uh, for the next part is uh, of our Bible study. Uh, okay, okay. By the next, uh, the next part is uh, we have a testimony. What is uh, God doing in your life? What is the, your testimony? Life testimony. Because uh, the life testimony will uh, encourage each of, each of us uh, and uh, we will think that the the word of God is truly work on our life. Okay. So Chris, do you have a, a testimony that the uh, Lord has changed in your life? Oh, that there's a lot. Um, okay, so I was not a good person. I mean, I am not me before I actually met God. But so... I'm a Catholic, and then, um, so I, I think I I have to say this like, like we all have problems. Okay, we have we have different lives, but we all encounter problems. So, but there will come a time that I think that that is a point that when when you are suffering from something, that is actually when God's going to touch you. Hindi kasi pwedeng there will be a come, there will come about a point ng life yun na darating at darating ang Panginoon to touch your heart, to touch na, hey, teka lang, sumusobra ka na, oh, teka lang, medyo, ano ka, medyo naglilihis na yung way mo. And I think having a problem like having anxiety, having, you know, depression, having, um, you know, mga worst problems is actually it's actually a, um, it's a way. I think we are blessed because we have those kind of we are we are we are uh, we are being anxious. We are we have anxiety. Though I think that is a blessing because when I started to have an anxiety, I started to take care of my body. I started to read the Bible, and then when I read the Bible, don't ko lang na notice. Teka lang, yung mga nasa loob pala ng Bible, it's actually happening. Nandun na pala siya. We are just too blind not to see it because. You know, hindi, hindi natin siya binabasa. Pero nandun pala, like, um, so I would say this, like, ang favorite part ko dun is like, do not be anxious about anything, about in every situation. By prayer and petition with thanksgiving, you have to present your request to God. Uh, and the peace of God will transcend all understanding and it will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. So, if kapag um uh faith, faith without work is dead right yeah. ko nalaman, eh. like we are we keep reading this faith without uh, work uh, is dead yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ i don't know kung Julie alam mo yun yung we should not only live by by the bread every day bread, bread. but by the word of god kasi and this is the reason why i understand bakit na kami nagba bible study every day pwede na kami mag bible study once a week eh. Or twice a week. Eh. Pero yun pala yung ibig yung sabihin. Kasi if you only go to, you have seven days in a week. You yeah. go to church like two, two, two hours. And then yung evil, the evil, the temptation and everything, they have a lot of times. Yung binibigay natin sa, sa just ganito. And, the, the, <laughs> and, and yung oras na binibigay natin sa evil to, na magtitem sa atin is sobrang laki. And yeah. still we want, we want to be saved. So doon ko siya na-realize, hindi pala, akala ko si dati, wala naman akong pinatay, hindi naman ako nagnakaw, akala ko masisave na ako. Yun yung paniniwala natin, di ba? 
Ah, may Catholic before. Akala ko kasi talaga ganun. Nagsisimba naman ako eh. Nagpipray naman ako po minsan-minsan. Napunta naman ako sa church. Di ba? Nandun nga ako minsan sa labas ng church eh. Nakaganito lang oh. Tapos ang daming tao. Yun. So, when you say, when you say, uh, dito ko rin nalaman na personal relationship with the Lord is different by going to church and just pray with kung ano lang yung gusto mong i-pray doon. Yeah. Hindi ganun. Personal relationship kailangan mo kailangan mo ligawan kailangan mo nandun ka every day kailangan mo magpakitang gilas para tanggapin ka and i was thinking yung sinabi ni Sir Ernest na kung lalabas ka sa pupunta ka sa labas may makakasalubong kang sampung tao tatanungin mo do you know god they will say yes do you follow god they will say yes but if you ask them what is the first commandment of god natitingin na na yung mga hindi nila alam. Kasi you don't have personal relationship with God. You don't study His Word. And parang exam yun eh. If you want to go to heaven, if you want to pass the exam, what will you do? You have to study. You have to study the Word. You have to study your homework. So, okay. yun lang. Uh, you know, uh, God sometimes put us uh, in the dark, put us in the dark times of our life to see that He is the one who will uh, guide us. Sometimes kasi uh, dumataan tayo sa ganong bahagi ng buhay natin. At habang tayo ay lumalapit sa Panginoon, is doon natin nakikita yung sarili natin kung gano'n tayo kadumi, kung gano'n tayo iniahon niya sa pagkakasala. And uh, I think, over time na pala. I think. And uh, thank you for everyone. And have a blessed day. Bye guys. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Sure, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.